Hi and welcome. So, I was just in deep meditation. Oh, you're in deep meditation. What type of meditation were you doing, Kat? Well, I often tell people that you need to make your whole day a meditation. So do you want to honestly know what I was doing? Shall I tell you what I was honestly doing? And some of you will be going, oh my goodness, I thought you were at an ashram, cat. I thought you were sat on your yoga mat. No, I was actually taking my bins out in meditation. I truly was. And I was just pondering. I took the bins out and I stood and I just... As I as I put the rubbish in the in the bin, I just stood there and I looked at the the wind blowing through the trees and I just breathed in that air and the energy that I felt rising within me was was incredible and I was thinking about this journey and how it ignites people and I want to just put something out there because I know that a lot of people have these sort of questions floating around. You see, on this journey, the twin flame journey, which is really truly the awakening journey, and I know people go, somebody said the other day, Kat, do you have to keep saying that? Yeah, I do have to keep saying it. The awakening journey awakens you at every chakra. Every chakra is awo is awoken. And it's not like they were they were dead before they weren't, but they are they are cleansed and clean and spinning vortexes of your life force energy, and you can't run, you can't hide from them, you can't go, okay, I'll just go back to my three d hazy life. No, 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 you see once they're ignited, you are ignited into purpose and passion and and what does that mean? What does actually ignited into purpose mean? Well, it means that you are ignited into that yearning that you have felt deep inside you. And for most people on this journey, you have had that niggly feeling. And often the ego mind goes, yeah, but who are you to really to really share anything, to help anybody, you know, you're not in perfect, you know, you're not some perfect sage sitting there all, you know, without all your problems. But here's the thing. We're not here to be perfect. When you step into purpose, it is normally what you have overcome. And that's when you become that powerful that powerful light beamer, that powerful way shower. Why? Because you've already overcome it. Now, it's like I always say, I always say this, that you, if you, if I go to Spain, so I'm in England, but if I go to Spain and I go to Barcelona and I go into a hall full of Spanish people and I start telling them about Barcelona when they already live there, they'll be like, you don't even live in Barcelona. Why are we listening to you? I've grown up here. Why am I listening to you going on about Barcelona? So I don't really become the helper or the expert or whatever you, the, the way, the way show or whatever you label you want to put on it. But if I go to a little village hall and in England and those people have never been out of England, but they all have a burning desire to go to Barcelona but they don't know, they don't know how to get there, they don't know, you know, what, do they go by train, do they go by bus, do they go by plane, do they drive even, how do they get there, and what do they do when they get to Barcelona, you know, where's the best place to go, where should they stay, what should they eat, you know, what money do they need, how is the best way to use their time when they hit Barcelona, I suddenly become the expert in there. What I'm trying to say to you is, your message and your purpose is not for everybody. And if you go and try and help the wrong people or make it a hazy old message, then you're probably not going to really make a big impact. 
But if you have been through what you are guiding on, if you know what people are struggling with and, and what keeps them up at night and what is their struggle, then you suddenly become the guiding light. You suddenly be able to help them and help them shift. So your purpose should always be either what your pain has been or what your passion has been. Why? Because you become so knowledgeable. You see, there's so much, I see so much business stuff out there and it's really quite complicated. Most people have it as some complicated thing. It does not need to be complicated. If you have that burning desire and that yearning, it's not even a burning desire. I've used the wrong word there. It's a yearning deep within your soul. You know that you're just here to help. You're here to help shift this whole planet into a new dimension. Then the first thing that you need to do is look at what, what, what you have overcome. And what you have overcome then you start to show up and help others overcome that too. I have been guiding and helping people grow soul-led businesses for decades now. It started by somebody first coming to me. They'd done one of my healing courses decades ago and they went, can you show me how, how I can help people, how I can get my message out there? I went, yeah, I can. Somebody else came to me and said, can you show me too? And somebody else came. And then when I moved online, people started going, can you show me how to do it online? So I started to show people. And hence why I have a course on soul coaching and soul-led business coaching as well. To show you, take all the complication out of it. I'm not into complication. I'm not into loops around your neck costing you thousands of pounds every month. You don't need that. Being a soul-led um, way shower, guiding and helping people from a soul purpose, soul mission, I'm sorry my chimes are like chiming away because it's windy, is simple. You have to turn up and you deliver from the heart. When you deliver from the heart and you shine your light from the heart, you can, you can never go wrong on this journey. When you help and shine from the heart, that is when you start to make a difference in the world. And if you need more help and support on how to do it, then my website is there with all the information. My course is all video. It's yours to watch, take away, watch it as many times as you want and go and grow whatever you want from it. You know, you can take it as far as you want and you can build it around your lifestyle. So there is no, you know, oh, do I need to put any, any hours in? It's your business. You create it to suit you. You do whatever you want to suit you. I just show you the tools of how to do it. And what you create from that, it's up to you. I hope this helps. This journey, the awakening journey, ignites us at every level. And once, you know, one of the greatest things I ever heard is once you find your own light, the greatest thing that you can ever do is to pass the baton and to show other people how to find their light too. I hope this helps. Much love.